What happens when women fantasize about you for you? What does that thought even start stirring in your body? It really lights me the fuck up. And the reason is, I'm not thinking of fantasy in the one dimensional way of um, like porn and sexual fantasy where we're getting off on the pleasure we're deriving from another person or the things we're doing to another person. It's not even about that type of fantasy at all. I'm talking more about those soul dreams that we have for the things we want in life. When we try to get in our imagination and start thinking about the things we really want and we really desire, it's kind of difficult sometimes to let ourselves go there because we've got so many experiences and inner beliefs and inner filters that get in the way that may let us fantasize about some things, but they won't let us fantasize about everything. And they're also gonna have different caps on where we let those fantasies take us. This is something I've been contemplating for a while, and it's why I'm so passionate about facilitating women's groups and women's circles, because for a long, long time, women have um, been pleasure governors, expression governors, and the fact that it used to be acceptable for other women to keep other women in check and small and diminished, like don't be that sexy, don't be that bold, don't be that adventurous. We have to maintain the societal norm. And women have been some of the biggest societal norm uh, slammers, I suppose, box containers, at least in my experiences and what I've witnessed in other women uh, all across the U.S., being a military brat, I got to go all over the place. And it was always women that I saw putting each other down much more than anybody else. And I wondered why this was. And in many ways, we've gotten beyond this, but in some, we obviously haven't. And I'm sure you can think of ways that you've experienced this yourself. So when I'm talking about women fantasizing for you and being a powerful sisterhood for you, it's in terms of women dreaming a bigger vision than you can dream for yourself, of thinking in more limitless and dynamic ways than you currently know how to with the place and paradigm you're living from in your life right now. And... Um, Having women who will do that for you is one of the biggest accelerators you could possibly have. These are the women who are going to dream big and start nudging you lovingly towards it. Sometimes straight up Sparta kicking your ass into it because we need that sometimes. And this was brought to me beautifully this morning when I was talking to one of my best soul sisters over text. And... We have this daily check-in we would do with each other, and um, we both hold each other accountable to choosing our language carefully. So she had expressed that she was struggling with one of her work projects, but was choosing to let it be easy and let it flow, and um, really holding to that. And I was like, you know what? That's not even enough. It's not even okay to just let it be easy and let it flow. Try this on for size. And so I spun up this quick little fantasy paragraph of like, no, you're going to become possessed with deeply inspirational, powerful, detailed, channeled magic to go into your piece of work right now. It's going to happen so fast it almost makes you dizzy and it's just going to flow out of you like that. And it's going to feel so sexy. And when your client gets this piece of work, he's going to be so overcome with the potency of it and the fact that you captured exactly what he wanted in ways that neither of you even knew he wanted. It's going to be huge. He's going to be so grateful. He's going to double your commission. And then he's going to tell five other people who are throwing their money at you to get on your wait list for this as well. Try that on for size. And she was like, damn, that's sexy. And I pondered, holy fuck, what would one of my soul sisters create 
as a dreamy fantasy for me that doesn't hold the limits that I set for myself. And sure enough, she threw one right back in my face based on what I'm currently working with now. And I loved it. And then at the very end, she even threw in this sexy piece about like, we're going to do a two week vacation in Tahiti, being naked and drinking martinis out of coconut shells. And her adding in that little fluff and that flair and that super sensual, sexy piece was like, oh, Oh yeah, that totally turned me on for work. I'm going to take this magic into what I'm about to do. And this is the beauty of having the right type of women around you, the right sisterhood around you, because they dream big, juicy, sensually, powerfully in ways that you may not do for yourself. So this is my thought piece for today. What would you dream for one of your closest friends? And what do you think she might dream in return for you? Maybe even share the video and pose the questions. I would love that. And I would love even more if you reached out and you messaged me or emailed me or found me on Facebook or even came into my Patreon community where we do more of this on the regular. I want to know what did this inspire for you? And are you fucking applying it? Otherwise, why did you just waste six minutes of your time? <laughs> I'm holding you in love. Thank you for joining me for this thought piece, this sexy talk moment. I'll see you later.